Hey, I'm Edlin, and I'm in the middle of making the Draw Together intro titles. Just thought it might be cool to show you some behind the scenes stuff and show you how easy making stuff at home can be. So right now, using the magic of stop motion, I am animating this pencil and making it stand up like this. This is my quickly put together home setup. I'm using a handy dandy high tech box to hold my desk lamp here, which has some kind of see through paper to help diffuse the light, which basically means it helps scatter the light and keeps it from being too harsh on the paper. And I'm filming everything on my iPad held up by this cheap tripod I bought. I specifically wanted to make the bulk of the intro using things you can just do at home. And I'm using this stop motion app called iMotion, which you can get for free. I actually personally like it more than other stop motion apps because it has another app you can use with it called iMotion Remote. And that allows you to see what's on your camera screen and lets you use a second device as a button to take photos. You can see if I press directly on my iPad, it can get kind of wobbly. This is bad for animation because then your objects will be all over the place. So it's nice to have something to let you take photos without having to touch the camera. Before I start, I wanted to show you something that's super helpful. This box right here turns on something animators call onion skinning. Onion skinning lets you see the last photo you took so you can move your objects around based on it. I think it's called onion skinning because it lets you see the last photo, just like you can see through the skin of an onion. Wow, so let's start. We'll take our first photo, and if I move like this, I can see where the pencil last was to make sure everything is aligned and see that I'm tilting the pencil properly. So I'm just gonna keep moving it up. Press this to take a picture. I move it up again. Gotta make sure the pencil tip is aligned and take a picture. Move it up again, oops. And take a picture. And I just keep going like that until we're done. And here's what it looks like. Pretty cool. Now we can make things move in a lot of different ways, which I'll just show you for fun. If we follow the pencil along, we can make it go down in a swoop, like that. We can also make it dance. So there's a lot of cool things you can do with really anything around your home. Everything you make only exists because you made it, and the cool thing about stop motion is everything looks cool when it's moving. The main point is, you gotta try things out, experiment, and have fun. See you later.